Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, today's video is going to be the Ghana tie. Yay! As you can see by the title of um, the video. Um, <laughs> I've never really touched upon it before but I am Ghanaian. Um, well none of my videos really called for me to mention it I guess but anyway I am a proud Ghanaian. I am um, questions I guess or things about me that you know relate to my Ghanaian heritage. Um, I was born in Ghana um, and left Ghana at about um, I think I was about two or three years old I went to stay with my uncle in Nigeria um, we stayed in Benin City and um, so we, I was with him for a little while um, I was um, the reason why I was staying with my uncle for a period was that uh, my parents as quite a lot of African immigrants do is that they they go ahead to the country that they're going to settle in and um, build up a um, home and um, set up foundations before they bring their children um, to come and live with them. So that's um, essentially what happened and um, then arrived in um, England um, uh, uh, about a year after, so I was about four. Um, and yeah, so we stayed in Hackney for most of my um, early um, childhood and um, let's see, I was in Hackney up until about f uh, 10. Yeah, so we left Hackney when I was about 10 and went to live in Southgate in North London. And that's where I went to school um, in Southgate. Um, and I've pretty much stayed in London all my life. I love London. I love everything about it. It's a vibrant city. You know, you can meet people from every single corner of the globe in London and, you know, just to explore people and their cultures, um, which I find quite fascinating. One thing I will say is that I haven't been to Ghana um, since I was, you know, three or four. Um, I am going this year. Yay! In fact, actually in November. Yay! Even more yay! Um, so I'm going in November. I'm really, really excited. Um, so I'm going with my boyfriend. We're going to be staying in East Lake On. I was looking at hotels in, um, in uh, near Labadi Beach. But my God, it's expensive. I mean, seriously, like you, you're paying the same amount to stay in a hotel as you would if you were staying in a five star hotel in London. Honestly, prices from like, you know, three to five grand. I was like, huh? I mean, come on. I thought my cities would travel a lot further, but no, it's expensive. Anyway, so I'm staying in East Lake On, which is a suburb outside of, of, of Accra. So I'm really excited about that. I don't really know too much about, um, you know, what Ghana looks like because obviously I've been there since I was I was um, about three or four. Um, so yeah, I'm really really excited. Um, I'm going with my boyfriend, and um, I won't be staying with relatives because you know, um, Ghanaians are quite traditional, and although they don't really. Um, you know, they don't really have very strict rules around, you know, sort of sex before marriage. Um, oh man, I just realised I just mentioned this on <laughs> on YouTube, um, that I have relations, which I don't if my parents are watching. Anyway, um, so yeah, I'm staying um, in East Lake Gone with my boyfriend, um, because I don't really want to stay with relatives because um, we're not married and, you know, they kind of you know, would sort of frown upon you sleeping with your boyfriend in, in the family home um, when you're not married. Um, so, staying in East Lake And also, you just kind of want to be able to do your own thing. You don't really want your family sort of controlling where you go um, because obviously they want to make sure that you have a good time. But, you know, what they think is a good time might not be what you think is a good time because I've had that before. I've stayed with relatives outside of, um, you know, who, like in the States, for example, you know, I stayed with um, family in the States and, you know, their idea of, you know, making sure that you have fun is not exactly compatible with your own. Um, and also they're trying to protect you from a lot of things and it's just like, mm, leave me alone, I just want to enjoy myself. I get on holiday. Anyway, so yeah. Yeah, so I'm going to uh, Ghana. Um, do I speak any um, languages? Yes, I do. I speak Hausa. Um, I my Hausa is quite faulting. It's um, you know the only reason I actually learned Hausa because my parents didn't really teach me how to speak it, and I don't speak Tree, which is the um, the national language. Um, and the only reason I speak Hausa is because my parents used to converse in Hausa, and they would always be conversing about what sort of punishment they were going to give me for being naughty. So somehow. 
self-preservation or instinct or whatever you want to call it sort of forced me to you know um, understand the language so that I knew in advance when I was going to get a beat down that way I could run away <laughs> I'm not joking this is true this is the only reason why I speak Hausa um, and it saved me from quite a few beatings but not all you know <laughs> so uh, yeah that's why I speak Hausa not many people um, in Ghana speak it, actually. It's probably um, confined primarily to, uh, primarily to um, the northern region of Ghana, uh, where um, I think it's predominantly Muslim, um, although my family are from the north. So um, my dad is um, a frafra, and my mum is a, um, oh, what is she? Uh, she's um, a balsa girl. So, but obviously, um, traditionally, you, you adopt the, um, uh, the um the tribe of your father so i am i guess i would have to say that i am a frafra girl um well i was born in kintampo in ghana which is in the north um it's quite a remote um area as far as i understand um i would like to try and visit um that area of um of ghana if i can but i understand it is quite some distance away from um, east Lagon, so probably take me like a day to get there and i'm not even sure if there are any hotels but we'll we'll find out when we get there Um, my favourite Ghanaian dish is probably, uh, to be honest, I try not to eat too much Ghanaian food because, you know, I can pack on the pounds quite easily without even trying, you know, um, and, uh, all of our food, as you, you may or may not know, is very carbohydrate rich, um, and, uh, you, basically you eat it and then pass out. I mean, essentially, <laughs> that's what our food does do, it's kind of like the knockout food. Um, but my favourite food is probably banku and okra stew, <clears throat> um, that's one of my favourites. And I also like kontomre, which is kind of like a spinach, um, stew, and you can either have it with chicken or, you know, um, whatever kind of meat. There's always some kind of meat in our dishes, and I love meat. Mm. Um, and um, also jollof rice, you know, I wouldn't be West African if I didn't like um, jollof rice. Um, and what else? Um, yeah, I think that's about, those are probably my favourite foods. And then obviously you've got a whole bunch of other things. I mean, we don't really do desserts <laughs> um, as Africans generally. I was just thinking, like, I was with my friend the other day and um, we, went to, uh, we went to Lewisham in um in south london and we were there buying some some african food um from a, it was a nigerian um, restaurant and um <laughs> we made the observation that after we'd finished eating and we were ready to pass out and our stomachs were hurting um from eating so much food um we made the observation that we don't really have desserts and the reason we don't have desserts is because our food is so heavy that where the hell are you going to find the room for desserts I mean, I've, I've just never really known any African to really have desserts or, you know, ever gone to an African restaurant where we have our own desserts on the menu. We just, just don't do desserts. But the one thing that we, the closest thing I can think of that is, is, would be a dessert, I guess, is, um, boflot, which is basically donuts. Um, so it's like a, you, you know, you get your, um, your dough, it's usually sugared, um, you know, you put lots of sugar in it, so it's like a, you know, it's like a donut um, and then you just um, drop it into a uh, boiling um, pot of um, of oil and you know you get like these sort of dough balls which are sweet um, that's the only thing but really people don't really eat that as a dessert as far as I have observed um, you just kind of eat it as a, sort of like a snack um, what else so I'm just looking at my notes here um, mm, Okay, do I own any Ghanaian clothing? Um, I don't really, and when I go to Ghana actually, I'm going to try and get um, a lot of um, uh, things sewn in our traditional cloth, um, or you know, different types of cloth. But um, the one thing I do own is a dress, which is um, made out of kente cloth. And actually I've never really worn this out because... Uh, I think at the time when it was made, I was probably a lot slimmer, or maybe a little bit slimmer. No, actually, I remember now. When it was made, because my sister went to, to Ghana and came back with, um, you know, with this dress, which was kind of similar to my measurements, but I was slimmer at the time, so it didn't actually fit. And now I'm fatter, and it still doesn't fit. So, but anyway, it's, um, it's, a, it's a dress made out of kente cloth, um, and it, uh, it's, it is sort of like a boob tube dress, 
Um, I'll probably wear it at the end of the video and then just give you like a quick um, view of what it looks like on. Um, um, I can, actually, can I fit into this? Well, we'll find out at the end of the video. Anyway, um, but that's about it. I didn't really own a lot of um, Ghanaian clothes. Sorry, I just saw somebody who I thought looked like my boyfriend. Anyway, um, and the other thing, I have cloths, um, which you sort of like wear as um, a rapa, if you like. Um, so you just wrap it around yourself and, um, you know, pretty much, if it's too hot to wear anything else, you just wrap a piece of cloth around your, your body. But I also have like, um, you know, things that are sort of sewn and just for you to sort of hang around the house in. Um, and one of them is, is this. It's enormous, um, but I like it because, you know, it uh, sort of keeps you warm. It's actually my mum's and I stole it from her. The final thing is a uh, Ghanaian artist. I'm not too familiar with um, Ghanaian artists. Um, the only one that I know is VIP. Um, and I really like that song, Away. Um, especially when we go to football matches and, you know, people will be singing it. And they'll be like, uh, you're never like anyone's coming towards the goal. You know, you go, Away! Away! That one, so... <laughs> <laughs> Check out the song actually, I'll put the link. I really, really like this song. If your girlfriend know they do you well. Oh yeah. Awe. Anyway, <laughs> that's my favourite actually. So I, I have that on heavy rotation on my iPod. But yeah, that's about it. That's my Ghana tag. And I shall see you in the next video. Bye!